Buckerman's Log, Day 2 in Space. Docking is a pain, and it's a huge relief when it's over. It's sort of like landing, but somehow much more tedious. Before approaching Freeport Station to dock, I checked out the scanning equipment that my ship is loaded with. It has a narrowband scanner and a service scanner in the forward bay. The ISRU converter, RTGs, and fuel cells are in the rear bay, and then behind them are the altimetry and anomaly scanners on top of the body. These are the latest high precision scanners, so the data I can sell will be much better than the publicly available data about the worlds I'll visit. So checking them out on a little patch of Kerbin, I changed to the scanning screen on my multifunction display there, and uh, you see here the results coming up, and I did scan a little patch of Kerbin. I don't know if it's up to par what they said the scanners were capable of, and I'm not entirely sure I know how to evaluate scans, actually. We'll have to see. Hopefully it's alright. Anyway, uh, that's the forward camera on my ship, and right now pretty much all I can see is the surface scanner, because it's actually in front of the docking port, which is where I would like to see. Anyway, First, though, I have to dock at Freeport Station to refuel and see if anyone's interested in my services. Docking at the station, this station, is worse than in other places because they only let you dock on the nighttime side of Kerbin because they run the artificial gravity section on the daylight side and that makes the station wobble a bit. Its reaction wheels have to work hard to counter the angular momentum. I wonder why they didn't just have another artificial grav section spinning the other way. That's probably the cost. The initial rendezvous burn was only an 11 meter per second maneuver, and that's thanks to the fact that I was waiting a whole day. Easy to get into the right phase when you have that kind of time. It's a good thing that uh, views of space never get old, or views of Kerbin from this altitude. So, yep, didn't uh, really feel like I was bored at all. You could just look out the windows. I kept the radiators out. I have them, I might as well use them. Right here I'm using the MechJeb system computer to make sure that my, my ship is oriented so I can match orbits with the station and we uh, came in range of the station's camera drones and they had a good look at my vehicle making sure that I was all safe and then finally the burn to match orbits with the station that's what you see here Everything was pretty smooth, this isn't the part that's really tough about docking. Matching speeds is pretty straightforward, as long as you have a way to plot your maneuvers. I guess the reason why I was so nervous about docking with the ED stretch is that, once again, even though they made it bigger, they didn't add more RCS to it. There isn't any more mod propellant than on the ED Prime, and there isn't any extra RCS ports. It's got the same configuration of those, so I wasn't entirely sure I had enough monopropellant. The docking camera worked pretty well though, and you can see me starting it up here and turning the docking port to face the station, and that's probably uh, gonna be a fond memory for me right there, getting the docking camera on the station for the first time. Quite a thing. I don't know about the other docking alignment system, I don't understand it at all. Uh, I prefer the visual myself, and actually the, the docking port camera has the relative velocity and relative distance there, and that's really what I wanted to see. Still, it was slow going, especially since I didn't want to overuse the mount propellant. And I was really patient, no good uh, messing up so early into my adventures in space, right? Well, I was pretty cautious. Part of the reason why Freeport Station is the only place that lets Kerbals without a reputation to dock is probably because other stations are afraid Kerbals who are new to space with their fresh craft are going to just smash into the station. I'm sure that's happened to Freeport Station a few times. They probably have to rebuild sections and maybe that's why they don't have more than one spinning section. Anyway, here I am all lined up, at least close enough, and moving forward using RCS here. You can hear the RCS fire occasionally. As you can definitely see, there was still some light available to me as I came into dock, so I was lucky there. It wasn't quite night yet, but it was getting dark pretty darn quickly. 
And I temporarily forgot that I had lights on my docking port. And so I was trying to strain my eyes to see, see where I have to dock. But finally I turned them on. And there you see my own lights lighting up the docking port there. And that worked out pretty nicely. Now at the risk of always nitpicking about my ship right away, there is one problem with the docking camera, and that's that it's right dead center in the middle of the docking port. So when you get close to your target port, it starts to get dark because uh, obviously you're not letting light pass in. Normally with uh, docking cameras, you have them off to the side, so and they'll there's a little target on the side of the target docking port so that you know what to aim at. But anyway, uh, I tried my best, and I think it was close enough. Docking port magnetism always helps. For a little while there though, I wasn't sure when to expect the jolt from the docking. And there we go. We have a bit of a system blackout as the electrical systems attach to each other. Umbilicals all attaching. And so I was on Freeport Station. And among the facilities, of course, is the exercise facilities in the anti-grav section. But mainly I was here for fuel. And boy does that cost a lot here at Freeport Station. On the bright side, there was a contract to scan Minmus, so I'll be off to Minmus uh, tomorrow. And I'll probably uh, try out my drilling and ISRU unit then too. I don't know if I'll take more than a day to scan Minmus or not, we'll see. I'll do the scanning first and then do the drilling and converting. And uh, hopefully then I won't have to pay for fuel here at Freeport Station. They don't actually require me to come back here to deliver the scans. I can just transmit them from Minmus. So that'll be the plan. I'll see where I go after Minmus after I get the scanning done. Alright, so that's it for me. And I'm going to get some rest, get some exercise. And then I will continue on to Minmus tomorrow. <laughs>